Hi guys, I'm Coach Jackie. I'm going to revise with you all what is the four A's of self-defense. First A, aware. Second A, alert. Third A, avoid. The last A is action, apply action. So in self-defense, a lot of people say attack is the last A, so no. Self-defense, we don't do attack, but we will apply action. Okay, so the best action is always run. When you're running, you're going to scream for fire, not help. Okay, because when you scream for help, that is your own business. When you scream for fire, that also belongs to the rest of the people around the vicinity. That also becomes their problem. So the best word to scream for if your life is in great danger is fire. Alright? And then when you cannot run anymore, you're going to put up your guts, yes, and then you're going to stand in a balanced way, all that. Then you're going to warn the person, warn the person to move away. To warn the person, there must be three elements, three important elements when you give warning. Must be direct, positive, and firm. Okay, let's do an exercise or an experiment. Listen to me carefully. Don't think of elephant. Don't think of elephant. What happened to your brain now? Don't think of elephant. You start to think of elephant. So what happens if the guy is on drugs, he's high, he comes close to you and says, Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't come close. You will know what happened, right? So you must be, the warning must be direct, positive and firm. So you must be, step back, move away, stop. This is all the direct, positive and firm warning. If you want the person to step back, you will tell him exactly, directly, step back. It's not, don't come close. Alright? Okay, so this is how we do a warning. And then, we touch on the four self-defense target. Eyes, ears, throat, and the groin area. One, two, three, four.